Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to the session. Am I audible? Can somebody confirm this? Yes, you are. Yeah, you are. Yes. Okay. Thanks. Yes, sir. Okay, all right. So uh, these uh, this session will be recorded and also streamed. All right. So you have to. Uh, uh, I mean, this is for the students who are not able to join now and want to view it later. Okay. Uh, and uh, uh, one more thing, if your peers are saying that I'm not able to join, this is because they are trying to join from their uh, what we call their personal email ID, right? So you can uh, ask them to join by their uh, online degree ID, okay, or student or study ID. Hi, sorry, I might have missed. Uh, will the YouTube session link be available for this? Yeah, it will be. I'll I'll uh, share the session link also. Yeah, here it is. So those who of you who have joined by by your you know personal email ID, uh, you can come back with your uh, online degree ID. Okay, so I'm not uh, uh, allowed to allow people from outside. Okay. All right. So I hope you all know this is this session is for discussing the project for this term, and I assume that uh, uh, this this cohort that we are having now is uh, a mix of students right some who are are uh, who are doing their project in this term i mean they have completed their uh, theory course in the previous term that is september 22 and will be doing their project in this term right and uh, a, a chunk of you would be uh, a chunk of you would be from students who are already taking this course for the first time right so the complete course as well as the project itself is from uh, from the scratch. Okay, so uh, that is the thing. But as we have mentioned earlier, those who are repeating the project, repeating meaning, those who are uh, those who have opted for taking their project in the next term would be uh, would be doing the project of that particular term. So the, the project uh, you will be doing this term will uh, not be the one that you have got. Uh, in the previous term, right? This is for those who wanted to do project in the next term, right? All right, so there are so many people trying to join from outside. I'm not sure how to deal with that, but I'm not able to, you know, give the entry to them. You can just, uh, somebody's, uh, you know, texting or asking you uh, if they're not able to join, just let them, uh, suggest them that they have to join by online degree ID. Yeah, so um, so the agenda of this session is to take you through the problem statement of uh, this term project that for AppDev1, okay? And then based on that, if you have any questions, I'll be dealing with that, okay? I see a hand raised. Uh, Dev, you want to ask something? Yes, sir. good evening, sir. Uh, actually, I uh, paid for the project last term, but I couldn't complete it. So mm -hmm. uh, I opted for doing it in this term. So the agenda will be changed or will I have to make the project on the last one? It was given. No, no, you have to work on uh, the new project. Okay, sir. thank you so much. Yeah, so uh, so uh, you have submitted your project in the last term or did not do no. that at all? No, so I was in process of doing it, but uh, I couldn't submit it. So I opted for doing okay. it. Again. Okay, fine. All right. So yeah, so you'll have to do the project that I'll be introducing now. Okay. And uh, yeah, this session is only for a project. This is not a theoro the theoretical live session. Uh, the sessions will start from the next uh, weeks, right? So then they will be regular. And uh, we are planning to have sessions on project and its discussion every alternate week. 
based on uh, uh, students doubt and how do we uh, how do we solve them or are able to solve them through discourse right there are certain things that cannot be so solved on discourse so we'll try to uh, take those in in uh, in the form of uh, sessions okay uh, yes mayank so good afternoon sir good afternoon Sir, actually, sir, I haven't opted for the project for in this course. I only opted for Mad One course. So, should I be taking this class? So you have opted only for the theory course, right? Yes, not sir. The project. No, that is not the thing. Actually, what happens is when you when you register for a theory course, you automatically get registered for the project course. Okay, the fees and all you have to pay later. That is something that happens. And then uh, based on the content and the courses that you have taken along with this course and the time and time uh, commitment that you have, you can decide whether to do the project this term itself along with the theory course or shift it to next term. OK, but uh, you don't have to explicitly register for a project course. OK, sir. OK, so you are you you have now automatically been registered for project course. Uh, depends on, I mean, you will later decide whether to continue with project or do it in the next term. Okay. Sir, so when will it be available to me to choose and I will be doing it or not? No, it's not like choosing. It's like, uh, uh, so let's say uh, for this term, if you do not at all submit your project, we will automatically consider you for the next term. Okay, sir. Yeah, Prakash. So actually, for this term, we have uh, like I have already paid for the project. Separate okay, that's okay. The so is it different for different people? Like? No, no. Generally, uh, so no, there there can be some uh, changes uh, based on uh, I mean, changes on the uh, on this on the the site you see, right? So payments sometimes it is it is available. You can pay. It is not available. It will later be available. Okay, so if you have made the payment, that is okay. Okay, now what happens is if you decide to submit uh, your project this term, it will be utilized. If you don't decide, the same term, sorry, same payment will be reused for the next. Okay, sir. okay, thank you. Okay, so uh, Vivekananda. Hello, sir. Yeah, hi. Uh, I took uh, Mad One Theory and Project in this term itself. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, will I able uh, to do project before the deadline, sir? You will have to do project be before the deadline, right? Yes, sir. But all the concepts in covered in uh, uh, week nine are uh, enough to uh, do the project, sir. Yeah, yeah. All the concepts that we cover, I mean, the theory course is designed in a way that it, uh, uh, you know, that it allows you or it will make you sufficiently capable enough to uh, uh, do the project. In fact, the projects are created based on theory, whatever is being taught or uh, is being given to you in the form of theory, right? So projects are decide, uh, created, the problem statement of the project is designed in a way that it does not go out of the scope of theory course. No, sir. Uh, actually, uh, till mm -hmm. March 31st, uh, only nine weeks or uh, 10 weeks concept will be clear, no, sir. No, uh, I mean, how do you say that? Uh, till uh, March 31st, sir. No, why Why are you saying like that? Uh, means uh, uh, concept covered in uh, week 11 and week 12, are those required for the project? No, at, at this point, I wouldn't say they are absolutely required. Uh, okay. Okay. So, major content of the project should come from. Uh, I mean, see, it is distributed among all the twelve weeks. But see, uh, what is to be done in the project can be decided by you. I mean, to what extent you want to go conceptually. Okay. Sir. Okay. Generally, what happens is the deadline is set in such a way that all the weeks' content is covered. Okay. Sir. Yeah. Yeah, so there is a question for you. I mean, uh, do you do you think that the deadline of project is at the end of 10, 10th week or something like that? Uh, March 31st is deadline, sir. March 31st is deadline, is it? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. 
okay fine so no uh, the thing is initially when the project statement is created we set a deadline which is tentative okay so the final deadline we uh, uh, it this can become permanent or we can change the final deadline but generally we make sure that the content uh, the 12 weeks content get covered okay sir but i think according to time timeline uh, 12 weeks of, of content will not be covered uh, until may 31st like uh, i think a week 9 or 10 till so, week 9 or so 10 will be may, done may 31st or march 31st no 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 march 31st march 31st is the deadline okay okay fine uh, uh, no issue don't worry i mean uh, we will make sure that the content is covered and the things that is required for project is well within uh, uh, within the i mean the, your reach okay sir thank you uh, sir i have one question regarding the marks um, uh, actually i had done bdm project last last uh, last uh, semester so my viva was completed on 13th of january but when the mark sheet was released my bdm project marks are not visible in the, that uh any can do you have any idea when these marks will be released uh not really sure man i mean the bdm side this is uh, that is more on you know data science side so i'm not really sure about that okay sir no problem i have written to them separately okay anyway so uh, yeah so you can uh, for now you can uh, uh, have some patience regarding the questions okay i'll go through the problem statement once and then we'll take uh, complete uh, remaining remnant of the uh, the session for questions okay so you have a better understanding of problem statement also okay so what i'll do is i'll share my screen now i'll take the problem statement and later we can take the questions Okay, so I hope my screen is visible now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, so you can see the 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 name of our project, right? Ticket shop, right? So let us see what what it is actually. All right. So talking about uh, uh, the 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 project of uh, this term for Mad One, it is uh, designed as a ticket show. It is named as ticket show. uh this name is not rigid you can change according to your will you can give it your own name okay what needs to remain same or what needs to remain constant throughout the project is something uh that is the functionality okay what we expect from your side okay now how do you start with the project or what is the main uh thing that remains constant throughout the project is the frameworks okay so basically we want you all to work on these frameworks for the project right so the complete skeleton of the project right like the back end the functionality the application logic has to be written in the in the flask right which is a micro framework which we will be dealing in lot detail in the theory course okay so the complete back end of the project has to be written in flask okay then comes the front end where you have the presentation part of the project the 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 front end meaning the what what the user will see for that project okay so for that you will have to use uh, jinja 2 for templating the uh, html files and you can give design or aesthetics to this project with the help of bootstrap framework okay uh, bootstrap is absolutely not necessary i mean it is not a compulsion that you have to use bootstrap okay you can you can keep it as simple by using simple css also but this is something that provides aesthetic nature some of you are uh, maybe really good at designing or creating front end so you can go ahead with uh, bootstrap okay then uh, you will be uh, working with a database a lot okay so database meaning every uh, every application that works on web or anywhere requires some data to to be worked with right so that data has to be uh, uh, dealt with using sqlite database okay so sqlite will be the base database that will be using for this uh, complete project okay then uh, you should be able to uh, give the presentation complete demo of your project in a stand alone machine okay for example i if i if i am using uh, my system for giving the demo of project i should not require some external servers for that external servers meaning uh, let's say i am setting up my database in some external server just the way we do in mysql but that is something that we are not using right but if you have any 
other idea that uses you know internet or other services that is not on your machine but outside somewhere that will definitely cause problems because you know while giving the demo project you may not be uh, completely sure that you get connected to these resources okay standalone platform meaning it can be completely your machine or it can be a application or it uh, 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 an interface that will allow you to give complete understanding or complete demo of the project right one such so can i ask a question here uh, can we take questions at last please okay sir yeah sure. yeah so uh, so replit is one such platform which gives you end to end uh, solution for complete uh, uh, your creation of project setting up databases running servers everything okay it's just a web application it is similar to any id that you would use on your system okay you can just note your questions down i'll come to those one by one okay so what is a ticket show in general okay so it will be a multi user app and there has to be one dashboard or one interface required for admin and one for the users okay so you i guess i guess you understand the idea that there will be a a person who is setting up the show and then there will be consumers of the show or users of that particular application uh, who is booking the show or uh, you know uh, booking the tickets okay so the idea is there is admin who is creating these shows setting up the venues and everything i'll come to this and then there will be users who is booking the shows okay as you can see admins can create venues and shows now what do we have what do we have to create when we talk about venues and show so there will be each venue or the venue in general should be a model in database right which will have now what is this model i'm talking about everything uh, will be dealt with in the theory course okay you will have a better idea when we, when we will again take a session on this okay but there has to be a, a venue which will have id name place and the capacity okay so for example we take uh, uh, the example of very prominent uh, you know booking show is that is book my show okay so what happens you open the application and you see lot of multiple theaters there showing single show okay one show but multiple theaters so that has to be every every venue has to be uh, accompanied by its own id which can be used to identify it okay it should have a name it should have place or whatever it shows i mean the city or whatever you want to put how discreet you want to go uh, in place that is uh, your decision okay uh, and the capacity uh, how many capacity uh, what number of intakes it can be okay so those are the things or those are the attributes which is associated with a venue similarly what are the attributes that would be associated to a show so there will be id which will uh, explicitly define or explicitly uh, you know uh, identify an id uh, a show okay the name of show ratings okay tags ticket price now what is these tags these tags can be best seller or um, uh, uh, blockbuster something like that right because this will help users to search for blockbuster shows or search for shows that are in much more demand okay so tags can be created by you it can it doesn't have to be any uh, predefined tags or tags that we are giving you that has to be defined by you okay so what is what is now how will these things work or how will these things relate with each other what will happen every mean venue can run number of shows all right system will automatically show the latest added shows okay so that is what happens right so when we open the book my show term uh, uh, book my show interface it will uh, uh, show you some shows now what how is it going to filter out those shows with the help of these tags right whether it is new or not whether it is much in demand or not or things like that right so you can use these terminologies in your application like ticket booking platform venue show then there is dynamic pricing which is uh, which i have you know we have mentioned as optional okay but you understand the concept of dynamic pricing right as as and when you uh, come near to the time of show the prices of show should go high okay so that is a functionality that you can think of and decide on uh, adding right now something which is uh, uh, something when we say it is optional it depends on uh, uh, the time you can commit to this okay the the understanding you have for the uh, for the subject and all okay 
this is not absolutely required but uh, would be a good to have right it would be a plus to have okay the similar products as i mentioned book my show is one such popular product that we all, i mean all of us might know of then there is another called as ticket show all these uh, uh, applications allow us to book shows online and uh, give us the complete idea of what are the shows what time they are what places they are available okay what are the seats and everything okay these two things are very important because these are only for your understanding and your reference okay you just have to get the idea you should not copy complete product okay in uh, the and if you wish to copy the code i mean best of luck right now what we have done is everything that we want uh, in the application every functionality that we want in the application so we have set number of or multiple functionalities that our application can have right uh, the, which is very evident from uh, from the explanation of what i have given about this application so what we have done is we have distributed or divided all these functionality into three sections okay one is core functionality one is recommended functionality and then there is optional okay core functionalities are very important as far as uh, your passing of the course or project course is concerned okay so if you want to pass the course these are the things that we want okay let me uh, just go through them one by one so what are the base requirements there has to be two login system okay one is for login logging in admin and the other is for logging in the user okay you have you can show this by two different interfaces on your screen but this is something that is required right uh, there will be an admin login so when you log once you log in as an admin we'll see what will happens what are the things required and once you log in as a user what are the available things that are there on the dashboard is what we are showing okay then there is venue management okay show management booking show tickets and search for shows and venues okay so if you see this venue management and show management is something that is taken care of by the admin okay and booking show tickets and searching for shows or venues is something that is used by uh, a user a normal user which is not an admin okay let us go in uh, in these things one by one okay so admin and user login so basically you will you'll have to create a form that will take some credentials to um, uh, authenticate a person is an admin or, or a normal user okay there has to be a separate form for admin as i said and there will be a separate form for user okay now here is one thing you can either use a proper login framework or just use simple html form with username and password now what do we mean by this uh, when we will talk about uh, uh, login and other things or security in the one of the one of our weeks in theory we will see that there are frameworks or there are extension of flash that allows you to properly log in and authenticate a user okay or an admin whoever it is okay it will make sure that no other can join it will make sure that the joined person is the one who has actually registered he is there as a registered user doesn't matter it is admin or normal user okay so proper login framework is something you can add if you are comfortable with but we are okay with having a simple login form that takes into consideration the names that is username and password may not authenticate at all okay but then lets you in to dashboard the only thing that you have to take care is admin should go to admin's dashboard and user normal user should go to normal uh, dashboard okay just to take that con uh, uh, confusion out we have two different forms for that right you just have to have a uh, option where you uh, where you allow the user to mention that okay i am an admin and i am logging in as an admin i am a normal user and i want to log in as a normal user authentication and all is something that is uh, not necessary okay but you can add if you want okay now for some of you whatever i'm speaking now must be sounding like very uh, like jargons okay because uh, some of you might not have uh, you know absolutely uh, very brief very small very little idea of what we are speaking of but things will get clear as we move ahead okay we have to create a suitable model for user suitable model for user meaning a proper schema for a user so that you can take proper information about the user and store it in the database right so i hope you every one of you or some of you have gone through you know have 
past dbms score so you understand what the schema is you have to set that schema create that schema for a user the information that you take about the user and you know uh, uh, or add all the attributes and create a model for that in the database is something we are expecting okay venue management as you can see venue management is only for admin only admins can manage venue what do what do we mean by managing a venue you should be able to create a new venue that is if i am if i am the owner of application i should be able to add a new venue right there is a new theater opening in my area and i want to add that as a venue okay so that is something uh, which we would that which would come under create a new venue thing okay uh, then edit a venue the name of the venue has changed right the number of uh, seats in the venue has changed number of capacity the capacity has changed or the address has changed whatever you are taking as attributes okay so for example if i go back here yeah. here yeah, venue right so these are the required attributes for a venue right if the name of that venue has changed the place of that venue has changed or capacity of venue has that uh, has changed you should be able to edit it in the database right so that is something which will only be done by admin okay and therefore we call it uh, as venue management because you are actually managing uh, a venue okay and then after all if a venue is not no longer available you can delete the venue right so all the crud operation as we call it we call these as as crud operations create read update and delete okay now you can see create a new venue comes in under create then update that delete but what is read read is to be able to see the venue which is absolutely required right so if you are opening uh, the dashboard for this application or a user is opening the uh, application you should be able to view the menu so viewing means to be able to read it right so this is venue management next is show management the way you manage a venue every venue will have a show and that needs to a management also right so you should be able to create a new show a new movie coming in a new movie releasing create a new show right uh, edit a show remove a show okay the movie is out of the theaters it should be out of the application edit a show meaning i am uh, uh, you can change the yeah as you as you can see you can change the title or caption or tags right if one of the attributes we have is tags okay for example first 10 days the movie was uh, you know uh, in in lot demand right but after 10 days the demand gradually decreased so you want to remove that tag so that edit should be you should be able to do right and then setting up price okay uh first 10 days the price was very high next 10 days you want to reduce the prices so all these things things have to be uh, manageable right you should be able to edit all these attributes of a show okay finally you can remove the show okay and the thing is allocate venues while creating a show meaning you can create a show for example i am creating a show this is this xyz movie and you want this show to be shown in particular abcd venue so you should be able to assign that okay this show will belongs to that venue that is what we are what we mean by saying allocate venues while creating the show so you should be able to allocate the venue for that particular show at the time of creating it only right so this is all about show management and again this is a feature of uh, admins only right only admins can do this next is search for shows and venues who will be doing this normal user right a user logs in and sees okay these are the shows and i want to look for that particular show he should be able he or she should be able to search for that show no i want to go that to that particular theater or venue he should be able to search for that uh, venue okay now how do we enhance this ability of searching with the help of tags right with the help of ratings all the things that we are using as attributes for shows would be helpful in some way to um uh, uh, make this make this uh, search enhanced right and then again book show tickets you got the show you want and then you can book the tickets again this will be uh, uh, this will be the function or this will be a job of user okay this will be a functionality available to the user you got it and then uh, i mean ability to stop taking bookings in case of a household this is something that an admin should do right so you can add it in admin okay so these are the core features let me go back and show you at all these things in one glance 
all these things right admin login user login two different forms for both admin and user then venue management to be done by admin show management to be done by admin booking show tickets user and search for shows and menus again user so these are the core functionalities right i mean and you can uh, i mean you can now say that all right yeah if you're looking for a ticket swap these are the things that it should have if it is missing any one of these there is no point of having a ticket show application all right now let's move to the recommended part okay so what is the meaning of recommended part so these are the things without which your application can still work your application can still be called as an application or your project can still be called as a complete project but it's like these are these are the things that will enhance your uh, 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 your submission as a student right whatever you are submitting as a project these functional having these functionality will enhance okay so definitely you should have uh, apis for interaction with venues and shows right so you all the crud as i mentioned before for venues and crud for shows all these things can be done with the help of apis also okay and additional apis for getting menus and shows to display for example if you want to show a last 10 day trend for a movie okay for example there is a show and you want to show the number of a number a number of uh, viewers to that or earnings per week right so you can show them in the form of graphs and everything right a, a graphical representation or statistical analysis something that is done or uh, for that you can use additional apis right but these additional apis that what I mentioned now should be done only for the three the, the third point okay for the first two points that is crud on venues and crud on shows you'll have to use restful apis which will be a part of course content right the, uh, the thing that will be taught to you in the form of theory course okay another recommended feature is like validation validation uh, that will take care about what is being entered in the input fields okay uh, you're looking for a movie but you're putting in some special actor should not be you know entering right uh, if you are looking for if you are trying to log in as an admin and you're putting uh, and the credentials it takes is username and password. Okay. Now in terms of in, in, in place of username, you are trying to put an email that should not be accepted. Right? This is called as validation. Okay. Now, how do we do validation? How uh, what are the ways in which validation can be done? It can be either front end or back end. Okay. Uh, are we going to cover this in theory course? Definitely. So this is something that is a recommended feature which will uh, give you a, which will give your application a very good um, a technical touch okay but absolutely uh, uh, it's not like this will be you know uh, treated for marks i mean you don't do this and you fail the course that will not happen this is a recommended feature okay it is definitely graded but this will not in some sense uh, you know fail the course if you don't do this then comes the optional features okay so giving a good looks to any application is a must right so uh, although we call it as an optional feature but it's something you have to look at the front end a user wants to use this application he should be able to understand the application how is it more uh, e easy to understand when it is readable when it is in very good shape when the looks is good okay when it is easily navigable from one one slide to another or one page to another so that is the thing okay as i said proper login system it is not an option it is not a core requirement but something you can uh, look at okay now export venue show engagement right so what is show engagement uh, show engagement meaning it shows the number of tickets booked okay venue performance venue performance meaning how is this venue uh, uh, i mean what are the reviews of previous you know uh, people who have booked the shows at this venue okay so all these things can come under venue performance how many shows this venue is taking per month okay so all these things uh, can come as a venue performance okay and then there is predict popularity of a show venue based on previous trends okay uh, again an optional requirement okay so as i mentioned before like two three slides before i mentioned that if you want to uh, want to see the last 10 days trend of a movie that should be done with the help of additional that can be done with the help of additional apis and you can use them now same thing if you want to extend it and see how will a particular show perform in the next week that is something 
uh, that you can do with this, right? So that is what we call as predict popularity of a show. Okay, so I hope you understood the three categories in which the uh, the functionalities of this application are divided, right? The core, recommended, and optional. Let's move ahead. Yeah, now everything that we did was what we want as uh, your submission. Okay, now let's talk about uh, one slide for the evaluation. Okay, so um, everything that you create has to be submitted on portal right it has to be zipped and submitted i mean we will give you a quite detailed um, uh, information on how a submission has to be made okay what is required along with the submission is a report okay it is not uh, more than two pages now what do we have to add in the report okay so basically we have to add the models that we are using in the application okay models for user there is venue and there is show okay so i can see that there can be three or more models that is there available okay you can mention how are they related what are the schema okay you can overall mention api endpoints if you are creating any okay then you can uh, mention what are the core uh, core features of your application what what were the challenges you faced while uh, uh, creating the application right so all those have to be mentioned in a PDF, which is not more than two pages, keep it as short as possible, but as to the point as possible. Okay. And then apart from that, we will also ask you to give a brief video of the application where you walk through us. Okay. So walking through means you open the application, log in as a user, show what a user can do, open the application, log in as an admin and show what admin can do. Okay. It's, it will be like a, uh, you are showing your friends, see, this is how my application works right so you don't have to go much details into the code but actual front end the actual how the application looks and uh, navigates from one page to another transitions how uh, entries are shown things all those things have to be uh, given or recorded in the form of video and you will have to submit that okay now how do we submit that we you will actually have to record this video store it in your drive okay give it permission and just add the link to that drive in the report okay that is to be done and uh, yeah so what happens is when uh, during the viva you will be again asked to give the demo of your application and then all the questions related to your application will be asked okay there will be two levels we will go into that uh, details uh, uh, quite details when we move ahead but this is what you need to have at uh, basic level okay all right, so with this, uh, I end my uh, my presentation and uh, I would take questions now. I can uh, navigate to any other slides if you want me to. I'll keep my screen shared and uh, this thing also uh, shown on the screen. And you can just uh, raise your hands and uh, unmute yourself and ask the questions. So can you share this presentation with us? Yeah, 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 this will be shared. This will be shared with to you on the portal. Okay, once the portal is live. So one question uh, regarding the standalone replete thing, sir. Like uh, uh, when I am running, uh, I mean, I have started with the project, but uh, I didn't go through the lectures. I'm just uh, going through some YouTube videos and I'm, I've created the front end and some something in the back end, like the login page and the register page I have done. Now my question I, so is- So you're like, working uh, on this project itself? Yeah, I am working, but I didn't go through the lectures yet. Of course, I'll get a, I mean, uh, once I start with the lectures, I'll come to know many things. It's just like I'm practicing. I mean, so that I can, uh, yeah. So my question is, uh, like in all the uh, Tim's uh, video is there, so Tim's uh, lecture. So he has uh, uh, said that like when we run a Flask project, uh, we uh, do a, um, uh, some environment we create a virtual environment and then uh, we uh, like uh, we uh, we give the command in the command prompt uh, as flask run and then the project runs so i'm following that like can i do it i mean the same thing in the replete also yeah yeah absolutely we can do that see the only thing is what happens is uh, okay this is more of uh, out of the project question i'll uh, are you still there in the meeting so that i can take it later or do you want me to do take it now? no i'm i'm there in the meeting sir okay just briefly i would answer to that see what happens is you create virtual environment in your system 
when you are working locally why you are doing that because let's say a uh, uh, a project that you are working on requires some numbers of modules okay to be installed okay but your system has a has the same module but the version is different okay but your project requires same module with a different version what happens is there will be some conflict okay so what happens you create a virtual environment which is which is now a very uh, what we can say uh, an independent and inert atmosphere for creating a project okay this will not have any uh, pre installed modules you will install everything from the scratch okay sir. and keep keep everything aside so that it does not interact or does not have any conflicts with already installed modules in your system okay that is why you create virtual environment so that all the required modules for that particular project along with the versions are kept safe okay and when you share this project with somebody else they might have another version right so again a conflict so you want them to use same versions so what happens along with the project you not only share the project but you also share the versions and modules that are used for that project that is why we have virtual environment okay now in case of replit what happens is when you create a replit project it is it by itself a environment okay there are no pre installed modules and all everything you use in that particular repl will be installed from the scratch so you don't have to create another virtual environment within a repl getting that also uh, like right now if i am yeah sorry your voice submission is if i transfer Sorry, sorry, your voice was. Okay. Sir, actually, I'm traveling. Okay, fine. Okay, so can uh, you can you come back to your question once again uh, later? Because I think. Uh, okay. Yeah. So you, I, yeah. I'm giving you time to uh, try to understand what I spoke two minutes. Okay. Yeah. Right, sir. Right. All right. Okay. Uh, okay. Other questions. So regarding the uh, standalone nature of the apps, for mm -hmm. Bootstrap, you might have to include like a CDN link or something. So do we have to have the entire bootstrap like downloaded and along with the project folder yeah. no cdn link is okay man see the thing is it will when you render you will be connected to internet it's not that uh, the connection to internet is okay connection to external servers is something which we call it uh, uh, risky why because during the time of project what happens if it doesn't connect what happens if the authentication fails okay cdn and all they will they, it is just using a resource which is already there on internet it is not uh, bootstrap servers are not set somewhere okay you getting so cdn is okay okay so it's I'm like i'm busy. talking i'm more uh, concerned about using uh, databases that are not on your system because what will okay. happen you'll have to actually work with your application to actually show the details of your application you definitely need to connect to the databases now what happens if that database is not on your system but at some external server so that that thing we are avoiding and that for for that very reason we are asking you to work with sqlite which is a local database okay sir. and one more thing sir regarding that uh, login like admin and users sir, can, do we have to have like definitely have two separate forms or could we just differentiated based on like the username or id i mean that is up to you you can do see having two different forms is the simplest way so we don't want to complicate things if you want to you know identify the admin with the help of its email address or whatever credentials you give that is up to you that is okay okay sir. thank you do, do i answer your question ah yeah i got hmm. okay all right our questions Anyone else? Uh, so, Mika here. Okay, yeah. Uh, I wanted to know that uh, you you uh, mentioned that if we do not submit our project this term, uh, the project we will be registered for in the next next term. So, will we have to work on uh, this term's project uh, statement or the next term's project next statement? Term. Next time. So, if you are uh, submitting a project next time, you'll have to work on next time's project statement. And in which scenario does the previous term's project statement gets carried on into the next term? Uh, in, uh, in there won't there won't be any scenarios like that. 
okay so a, a project statement uh, release this term you have to work i mean if you want to work with that project statement project has to be submitted in this term all right thank you okay uh, gokul yes i i sorry i wasn't seeing raised hands now i'll go with uh, raised hands okay so i'll go with gokul Uh, sir, regarding like uh, the sorting and stuff for that venue, sir. Regarding, like for venues, we have to sort in order and all. Could we like do that using like uh, client side scripting or? Uh, client side scripting meaning you want to work with JavaScript, is it? Yeah, is that or should we just not try any of that? Yeah, see, uh, I would say you can. Uh, I mean, uh, you can avoid the JavaScript as much as possible because see, App Dev One uh, mainly deals with backend, and uh, we work in backend with with Python, right? So we do not want that uh, uh, you know multiple languages being used. Okay, in App Dev Two course, there is no limit in what language you can use, and you will mainly be working on front end. So JavaScript will come in abundance there. Okay. okay, but uh, this time, uh, I, I mean, in the App Dev One course, we want you to actually work on backend and that too with Python. Okay, got it. So uh, sorting and all, I mean, you can look for a logic in Python and then have those things done, right? Okay, sir. sure. Thank you. Yes, Harshdeep. Yes, sir. Am I audible, sir? Yes, you're audible. Uh, so, sir, uh, my query is a bit specific. Uh, uh, I had actually registered for Mad One Theory uh, and Mad One Project uh, back in September, and uh, I had completed my Mad One Theory, and I was in the process of completing uh, Mad One Project uh, when I realized that it would be better uh, uh, that I do it in the next term. Mm -hmm. uh, but something came up, uh, and my schedule has gotten quite busy. And this term, I am actually overloaded with subjects. I have uh, Java, I have Mad2 that I had selected, Mad2 theory, Mad2 project, system commands, and Mad1 project. So there are five things, and I wanted to actually do Mad2 and Mad2 project in the next term. So my qu query was that uh, if I uh, once the uh, uh, once the uh, date opens up for uh, uh, opting out of a course and uh, taking it in the next term. Uh, if I take Mac to project, uh, would I have to pay the fees uh, uh, again for it? Uh, see, if you, you have registered for Mad to theory course this term, right? Mad to theory and Mad to project. That was back when I did not realize that uh, uh, a Mad one project would take me a bit of time to understand. Mm -hmm. So you have not. So you have only taken. This is your first time you are taking Mat to uh, Mat to theory course. Theory right? and project. Yes, sir. Ah, so what you can do is you can uh, work on Mat to theory, and instead of Mat to project, you can work on Mat one project and do Mat to uh, uh, project later. Hmm. In that case, what will happen? You'll you will uh, you will be you know you can use the uh, idea of. Doing the theory course here and project course in next term. In if you if you still want to do Mad One in you know in the next term May term, uh, you might have to pay uh, project fees again. Oh okay okay, and for Mad Two uh, that wouldn't be the case. No, if because you, that's why I asked that you have registered for Mad Two theory course this time only, or you have previously previously registered, right? Mm -hmm. So you since you have done it first time here, you have one more chance to do it in the next term. Which will not affect you uh, uh, financially. Okay, okay. So you, what you can do is work with uh, the theory course of Mad Two and do Mad One project, and you can take Mad Two project in the next term. So still, that leaves me with uh, four. Uh, how should I say subjects to handle? One is Java. Second is system commands. Then is Mad Two project. Uh, sorry, theory and Mad One project. Uh, so. Mm -hmm. I can dedicate around 30 to 40 hours a week. Uh, mm -hmm. Would that be enough to cover four of these? 30 to 40 hours a week should be sufficient, I guess. Okay, because uh, I'm not pursuing anything else besides. See, that's, what we, that's what we mean when we, you know, during orientation session, when we suggest subjects, that's what we mean, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
so it becomes a overload when you before taking the subject doesn't look that much but when the course starts and everything comes up it looks quite crumbled right so that is what we don't want that's why we ask you to take as minimum courses wanted but anyway you can uh, do with that i mean 30 to 40 hours i guess should be okay 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 all right sir thank you okay uh, uh okay so that was harshdeep right yeah harman preet uh, good afternoon sir yeah uh, so uh, i was uh, i actually missed that the live session of bdm project which happened on 6th of jan mm -hmm. and so i was wondering if the link to that could be shared or if even that project was recorded in the first place uh, because I'm only seeing uh, last two, uh, a three month old video of BDM project and a uh, one. Uh... Yeah, see, this is uh, more of a BDM concern, right? What you can do is you can search for it on YouTube on our channel, or you can ask for the same on Discourse BDM, right? Okay. And just so one more question that uh, I see that a lot of people here already have the knowledge of a uh, lot of terminology and frameworks and all that. So could a person who just started programming career with this degree be able to uh, make a full fledged uh, web app like uh, which like? Yeah, so is see, the thing is, if you uh, I mean, if you have sufficient uh, uh, time to work with AppDev and do not have, uh, you know, number of subjects in at your hand for this term, you can definitely do it. No issues. Uh, so that's you, what sir. so what happens is the uh, initial weeks the terminal terminologies and everything that you hear for the very first time actually uh, uh, are uh, you know it, it, this what frightens number of students but as you move ahead things get clear okay thank you sir okay so initially so many new words would definitely uh, uh, have some issue but initially uh, I mean, later on it will all be sorted i guess but see if the project if you if you thoroughly follow the course and everything you attend live sessions uh, you complete all the lab assignments uh, it should be okay thank you yeah sachin sachin kumar yes sir sir uh, like i just have doubt uh, like uh, uh, should uh, should be the site uh, dynamic or not okay uh it can it, it should be partially dynamic see because see a lot of data would be coming from database and then will be shown on the uh on the page right so it will it cannot be 100 percent static okay okay it has to be partially uh, dynamic no no uh sorry uh, uh, should it be responsive or not okay what do you mean by responsive like uh changing the uh, uh, devices it should be uh changed uh, and uh arranged properly like um, uh, compatible with mobile screens and uh, with laptops See, that that was the issue five years ten years back right now you have bootstrap and all so uh, responsiveness is taken care of uh, to a larger extent okay. so sir i just have like uh, is it a core requirement like i'm lagging with the bootstrap or something mm -hmm. like I no, have no, to it's manually... no no it's okay. not a core requirement no no it's not a core requirement so i have to just uh, manually uh, edit the code of the bootstrap and doing uh, mm -hmm. that way it's a bit uh, tough for me to okay. uh, adjust uh, for re responsiveness for the mm -hmm. site so that's why i'm asking and one more thing like while i uh, while we are supposed to do validation in the front end ad as well as in the server side so like no, no, uh, if you you uh, you you are not required to do both or i mean you're not required to do both you can either do both or any one of them or if you find it very difficult you can leave it so sir uh, uh, during the viva session uh, will the instructor will ask us to uh, disable the uh, javascripts and uh, like uh, show them the validation in the server side so see the thing is if you're using front end validation i would suggest not to use javascript do it with normal html5 okay okay so that's what i said to uh, somebody who had asked out before right uh, avoid using javascript or keep its use minimal okay and uh, and so one more thing like i've been uh, it's been a confusion for me like mm -hmm. uh, i have registered for the mad one and mad one 
project in the September term, term of 2022. Okay. So uh, I deferred it to uh, do it in Jan term. Hmm. So uh, the deadline for the Jan term for me, it's 31st of March or 31st of January. 31st of March, right? You'll be submitting on, you'll be doing this project, right? This is just, this has just been released. So you'll be doing it in March. Okay. So that line is uh, 31st of March. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Okay. So about deadline, I'm not really sure. 31st March is something you guys are saying, but I'll confirm with the team and let you know, or uh, will this will be, you know, propagated to you later. If there is any change or this is the fixed deadline or something. Okay. But at, uh, as of now, you can consider 31st March. Okay, but sir, uh, I, I got, uh, you know, like uh, uh, two or three weeks, uh, uh, earlier two or three weeks, I received mail, uh, like uh, in the mail mentioned there that uh, you should uh, submit your uh, Mad1 project uh, before 31st of Jan something. Sorry, sorry, didn't get your question. Sorry. Can you like, can you I, I've received a mail, uh, some uh, re uh, related with uh, Mad1 project mm -hmm. and the mail. Uh, it's mentioned there that, that uh, one should submit the Mad1 project before 31st of Jan. Is it for the candidates who have, uh, uh, who have uh, agreed to uh, do it in September term or deferred? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. See, because it will the mail will go to everybody who have registered for September term, right? And then yeah. uh, uh, you then you decide not to submit, and then you'll be automatically registered re-registered for the Jan term. That happens. Okay, that's why we are receiving those mm. bills. Mm. Yeah. yeah. But thank you. Sir. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. So before I go to next raised hand, I would also check uh, questions on chat, right? So the portal is not online now. Okay. Portal is not working because there was some issue. So we are making some changes here and there, and it will be it will be online in a couple of days. Okay. Uh, so will the video lectures see video lectures along with screencast along with uh, live sessions the, and then your doubts and your uh, uh, participation in live session and discourse everything will be uh, will be there or it's every everything's contribution will be required to do the project and you know do good in theory course okay lab assignments play a very important role in getting you the practical uh, feeling of the course Okay. See, we are asking you to create uh, two to three minutes. So it is, it is good if you have one shot of it, right? No multiple clips. Lab assignments and everything will come week wise, right? If they are not uh, altogether given. Okay, let, let us go to next hand. Uh, Manan. Good evening, sir. Yeah, hi. Am I audible? Yeah, you're audible. Uh, sir, actually, I had a question. Uh, I wanted to know, are there multiple admins in our app? Uh, so if another if person who owns a cinema uh, wants to add his cinema, he can register as an admin and then add, add, add those venues and places uh mm -hmm. at cinema halls or either it is only a one admin where we are adding other venues and cinema halls it is it is your choice man. it is your call i mean you can have multiple admins one admin it's just you should be able to segregate out admins and normal users that's the idea okay sir and sir i also wanted to know can we add third party apis uh like if i want to add imdb api so I would just I will be just typing the name of mm -hmm. the show and address data about introduction trailer and uh, other pictures of that movie are loaded in the website or should I add them manually? Means the again admin will be adding them manually. Again your call. Again your call. See, so what I said uh, there are in the API slide there were three things, right? API or CRUD, API for CRUD on venue, API for CRUD on shows. So these yes. two have to have to be Flask RESTful APIs. Additional APIs, you first decide what you want and then what you can get from APIs. That is your call. Okay, sir. Okay. Uh, so actually, uh, if we have some other doubts and 
and like right now i am not having any doubts but if i get some in a doubtful yeah. situation so, see, uh, can I we mean, contact uh, you to discourse yeah, yeah. or where well, there will be more live discourse. sessions for this correct yeah so both right so discourse is something that you don't have to wait for anyone to come up and say you can just put your uh, you know doubt anytime and anywhere you want right so discourse okay. is there for that we'll try to create uh, sorry try to clear your doubt as as far as possible from discourse and as i said before we'll be having we are planning to have these live sessions alternatively for project wherein we will come and discuss only about project and doubts related to that okay sir thank you okay let us go next uh, uh mohammad shahid Shahid. Hello, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Shahid, yeah, sir. Yeah. So I, I don't have any specific question, but I just request you, if possible, can you show us uh, projects submitted by other students for a demo purpose? So projects submitted by other students won't help you because every term uh, the project statement changes, right? So we don't have any project working project on this thing. OK, for reference, you can take uh, Book My Show app. Okay, or ticket show that you get the idea from that application. You compare it with what are the core requirements of the application and try to do that. Okay, so while doing that, if there is any issue, we will try to create through. Uh, we will try to clear it through discourse or uh, other live session we are having. Okay, and the practical part of it, the code part of it, uh, should be covered as we have theory related uh, live sessions, right? Okay. Thank you. All right, uh, Anusha. Yeah, good evening, sir. Uh, yeah. Sir, I have few doubts. Uh, one thing is, is this data like the movie venue or uh, whatever the movies of are they should be like the real time data or some dummy data we can add into the database? Can be dummy data. See, you are creating your own model, right, for a movie yeah. or for yes, shows. Sir. It has to be dummy. Dummy, yeah, because like uh, if it isn't, uh, we will be dim, uh, you know. While Viva, when we will be you know, uh, presenting it to the instructors or someone, mm -hmm. like it should, uh, does it, like you said, the dynamic pricing. So, like for dynamic pricing, should I consider the real time movies? Then only I can consider, you know, dynamic pricing based on the popularity or something like that. Or I can just put some dummy data and create my own dynamic pricing, you know, category. The, the latter one, yeah. You can create yeah. your dummy data and you can set uh, your own uh, logic for create dynamic pricing, right? So yeah, I have, sure. let's say, I can, I want to increase the price by 10% mm -hmm. every hour you move closer to the movie actual time, right? So yes, that sir. can be yes. implemented using Python. Okay. Yes, it will be and better one... if you don't use anything external and have it on your own. Okay, sir. Understood. So one more doubt. I saw this uh, like in the chat also. It is my doubt also. Like, uh, should we have the seat interface as in? Book my show, like, we, do we need to give the user an option to select the seats which they like or something like that, or is it optional? Uh, it would be very good thing to see something like that. But uh, uh, see, the core requirement is you should be able to book the show. So yes, it should, uh, uh, I mean, uh, if it is just the interface is just saying that, okay, you have a show available at this point, select show. Yes, sir. Okay, that should be sufficient. Okay, we are not talking anything about seats and all. Capacity okay. has to be taken care of, right? So yes, once you book yes, the show, sir. capacity should come down. Yes, sir. Understood. Okay, but uh, uh, it would be really good if I'm taking a Viva. It would be I would be really happy to see something like that. Okay, okay, sir. Also, one more thing. Like uh, there are two different logins, admins and user, right, sir? Hmm. So like, uh, so for, say for example, I created two different forms using Flask. Uh, the forms are there no sir for creating a, a login so if i create uh, like uh, how will i uh, suppose a user is uh, registering him as an admin uh, or there can be a can conflict no sir like he can be an admin and he will uh, log in as a user like we should avoid such conflicts or how it should be taken care of like it's quite confusing like like someone can uh, uh, select as an admin or someone can you as a user so how to differentiate that no, no it's not like that see the thing is uh, uh, it's your app is not public right when you will yes, be displaying sir. your application it is not public it will yes, be locally sir. running you can show that okay uh, i mean with one id you see now this is my admin login i'll, I'll log in as admin and then uh -huh. the dashboard related to admin will come up 
okay yes, and again yes, while yes. displaying you will now go to another form that will only take uh, 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 what we say user yes, or sir. you can use some uh, validation in the back end that will look at the mail and or uh, whatever credential you are taking that will look at okay. that and okay. you know in direct uh, redirect to uh, suitable dashboards request to pages okay so for example if a user is uh, in the database of admin he should not be able to log in as a user and vice versa like we should the implement such things right now yeah yeah something like that can be done yeah okay okay sir understood sir thank you okay yeah so again i'll uh, take a, a minute and uh, you know address the chat questions would there be a wireframe structure release for the project yes there will be okay there will be a wireframe given to you will the mad1 course be sufficient see mad1 course as far as contents are covered concepts the required are covered will be sufficient enough okay but practicing needs a lot of research from outside okay so you'll see a thing Uh, a question or a concept in the in the you know weeks content but may not have any idea of, of that or you will also not find there is a chance that you don't find it uh, in the content okay the lecture content so you can you know just uh, uh, swim in the web okay just search for it and find out okay this is that this is that this is these questions or this ideas are created only to give you an idea of what there can be an application development but as far as concepts are concerned uh, sufficient and enough concepts are given in the theory course so that you can work on the project okay uh okay uh, the project contribute to cgpa as well i'm not uh, sure but it should how many id is required if i take one admin according to one user and one user account is it enough yeah it should be enough but it would be better if you see the thing is if you one admin is okay but only one user booking a show okay and uh, you want to also see that okay whether a show is booked or not for that you should have you know login with another user okay so multiple users would be a better Uh, idea and would be a better uh, way of showing all the features of your application right so one admin is okay but users should be multiple uh at this point i would not uh, ask you to go through get and all because see there is a large chance of your project getting copied right so we don't want anything to go on public uh, places your call you can show image of venue or show your call chat gpt i would uh, ask you to avoid <coughs> okay you you have to be see the thing is if you mm -hmm. want to use all the resources that are available then you can definitely create a, another book my show app okay that is not what we want we want you to use the resources that is given from the course okay and use those that's why we are very strict on framework uh, uh, templating engines database we are very strict on that okay whatever we have given those only have to use Okay, I'll move back to yeah, Anushka. Uh, good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening. Uh, sir, in the problem statement, in uh, create a new venue, it says storage should handle multiple languages. Uh, so, what are uh, what is the exact functionality required here? I'm not able to understand that. Uh, it's okay, man. See, the what happens is uh, what we mean by that is uh, it should be. UTF-8 compatible. Okay, yeah. that is what we mean. And in general, whatever files you create are UTF-8. Okay, what we now technically what we mean is uh, uh, you should be able to write uh, a movie name which is in English or another language like Hindi, Tamil, etc. Okay, all these characters are supported in UTF-8. Okay, sir. Okay, that is what we mean. So that's what. So if you are having any uh, UTF-8 encoding for any file, all these things are automatically taken care of. Okay, sir. Got that. And sir, uh, should the project uh, match the wireframe exactly, or wireframe is just for the reference? It is for your reference. 
okay okay because you. we are uh, letting you to be open with design okay so yes. uh, it depends on you to what extent you have to go in adding aesthetics to the application okay a basic version of the application will be given through wireframe okay this is just to show you transitions what should happen when you click on this what should happen when you click on that something like that okay sir and uh, sir one more doubt uh, yeah. so you said for the login system uh, uh, you you have recommended to create the two separate forms for user and admin mm -hmm. so can i go with a single form and uh, get the input as a uh, I'm logging as a user and admin. Can yeah, I so that? that's what. So see, having two forms is not a good way of coding, but it's the simplest way of coding. Okay. That is why we have gone with that because we want everyone to be on the same plate and understand the concept. Okay. Having a single form where you internally or, you know, you uh, segregate out the user and admin at the back end is more code heavy. If you can do that, that is good. Okay, and okay. that is expected. But if you are having two forms, you don't have to worry about all those things and get the and still get the functionality done. Okay, so both are okay. Having two different forms for admin and user, having single form which is capable enough to segregate out. Okay, admin has logged in or user has logged in. Okay, sir, got that. Thank you. Hmm. Okay. Atharva. Atharva, is there? Uh, are you speaking, Atharva? Because uh, we cannot hear you. I mean, at least I cannot hear you. I'm yeah, audible, you're not So I mainly wanted to ask that in the um, uh, extra, like in the core, uh, the second uh, hmm. category, that you mentioned uh, over there you said that uh, a proper login system like what did you exactly mean by that like isn't a login system a core requirement no login system is not a core requirement okay then how does one login like uh, you see what happens is system. i can i can create a, a login form as simple as doesn't matter what you put in credential it will still take you to the dashboard. okay 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 got it got it Okay, so that is okay. what you. What you okay, and, and secondly, uh, does the uh, app have to be secure? Like, I mean, uh, you can always find a bypass system to um, like. Is, is security a main uh, issue over here, or can no, it be something? That is, is not what we expect, more. but okay. you are open to uh, have it. Okay, okay, and um, but security and... meaning not the Google security man. Okay. Uh, sorry. Uh, security meaning not Google security, Google login and everything. Oh, what? No, 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 no. I was talking about just something which is secure enough, like yeah, yeah, uh, showing my JavaScript on the server side or not JavaScript. I mean, like my code on the server side or something mm -hmm. like that, like having URLs show up in the get request and stuff. Okay. And so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what. So that is your call. Okay. 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 I mean, to I what know. extent you have to go in security is your call. Okay, and uh, finally, I wanted to ask that all of this will be on the local host, right? Yes. So uh, it's okay if we don't have a like um, if there's, there's dev and prod. So if we stay in the dev, it's okay, right? Is I, I know a very basic. I'm Mostly very... dev. Okay. Okay. Cool. 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 Thank you. And uh, one more thing that in the video that you said that we have to record a video of our mm -hmm. screen share. Uh, oh, sorry, of the app working. Do we have to have our audio in it, like explaining exactly what is happening? Where yes, it's just yes. a video. In yeah, it's like see, this is my application. This is okay, admin okay. login. Cool. Now this is dashboard. Now I can see the book. Now I'll create a show. Okay. 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 This is what you what you mean. Okay. Thank you, sir. And uh, someone else also asked that I was a bit interested. Uh, how would you uh, manage plag plagiarism checking? Like, uh, uh, so we, uh, yeah, so I mean, no, I mean, like, is, at what point would something be considered copying and like, uh, so basically see everything, I mean, everything you submit has to be, will be, uh, uh, will be, you know, checked against all the submissions made. Okay. 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 So that no two students who are giving okay. the same project, uh, have the same code. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Sir. What happens? Uh, there's a cheat code similar to the code we submitted. So that is the reason we are not, uh, uh, you know, uh, recommending you guys to put anything on Git. No, means if I copy a certain part of a code from a chip. That is, you I should know. avoid that. I mean, uh, no part copying from anywhere is uh, accepted. No, because I want to do a proper front end, right? So I need certain functional functionalities, right? No, functionalities is okay. See, what we uh, look at is the business logic, right? 
the application in general can have a lot of uh, surrounding code but the main code which you know which deals with the database uh, uh, the the main controllers of the application should not be copied Okay, now see if we are we are asking you to use Bootstrap, right? Bootstrap have, has a lot of code that is that should go similar to a lot of people, right? So we'll take care of that. So what basically what we mean is your application logic should remain unique, should be completely written by you, not copied from anywhere. Okay. So can we copy front end? <laughs> no. I mean, <laughs> copy front end meaning you can use Bootstrap. Okay. And uh, see, the thing is, if two people having same front end is can be very easily flagged as a plagiarized thing, right? I mean, two people having same interface will definitely flag you. Right. Yes. For code, at least we'll have to go to the through the code and see whether the, okay these two controllers match or not. These database setup is matching or not. But when we uh, when we look at front end, even the person who is not that technically strong will be able to you know flag two submissions out. Right. Hmm. Okay. Right. So it is better not to have any design rather than having a externally uh, you know uh, imported front end. Okay, we will. Your marks won't cut if you do not have anything as a front end, meaning uh, you don't have any aesthetics used. Simple HTML will also work, only the application should work as intended. Okay, okay. Uh, Abhiral, hello, sir. Am I audible? Yeah. Yeah, so I had a question like during the project, if we get like if I get stuck stuck somewhere in the middle, will there be any live session in which I can ask help from yeah, the instructor definitely. or do I have to figure it out myself? No, no, definitely you can okay, ask sir. your doubts. Okay, sir. And also I have one question. Hmm. So when uh, when a user is trying to book for a ticket, so how can we make the seat availability and selection interface like uh, book my show? Do we have to do that? Uh, that is absolutely not required, but you can, if you, if you, okay. you know, if you have an idea to do that, it will definitely be a good idea. Right. Okay. Sir. Okay. Sir. Thank you. Sir. Yeah. So uh, uh, technically we do not want to see an interface that gives you the seating arrangement and all. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah. uh, an interface as simple as showing, okay, available uh, shows you're booking it and mm -hmm. this thing got booked. That should suffice. Oh, okay, sir. Got it. Okay. Uh, anything else you want to ask, Avira? Uh, no, not, sir. It's fine. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Swati? Hello, sir. Oh, sir. Yeah. Sir, I have a few questions from problem statement. A uh, system will automatically show the latest added show. So how will it show automatically? Means you have to add dates. So it should show the latest added show. Or what can we do? OK. So the thing is, see, one way is, as you mentioned, dates, right? You can, uh, uh, I mean, add date as a, uh, I mean, a record date whenever a show is added and then okay. can show it according to date latest date one thing is that but one more thing uh, one more logic we can look at is the id right so the show having uh, you know latest id for like for example serially they will be given ids right so the show having latest id will definitely be the latest one uh, id means like uh, what id id meaning uh, it will be one of the attributes that identifies the show uh, uniquely identifies uniquely the show. identifies the show okay. and in edit a venue it's written change title caption or image so image means venues image right yeah if at all you are planning to show a venues image you can edit that okay and one more question uh, yeah uh, in create for search for show in venue, it's written basic home view for a venue. 
So how so means, can you please el elaborate a bit? Okay, let me see. We are in uh, only the production that the is here. Hello? Hey, I'm there. Please give me that. Okay. Yes, I think it should go for me. Okay. It's just more into this if it works or not. Okay. What was your question again? Uh, when search for shoes and venue, it's written basic home view for a venue. So how it should be? Uh, means I didn't, didn't get changes basic home view i'm not getting this where is it written? Uh, in ninth page last line because ability to search theaters based on location preference ability to search movies based on tags ratings and basic home view for a venue yes yes ah, it is nothing man just a listing of venue uh, listing of venue. so if you search for a venue for example if you write uh, let's say s okay you all the venues to, uh, starting from a should yes. show in in the list yeah. basic in the basic so, list is what is expected okay. okay and what else can so be done just only search uh, uh, compare uh, so uh, we we have to add a search button we yeah, so that is one of the it. yeah that is one of the core requirement because see as a user you think uh, what is what is the and main can, um, what are the main activities a user can do while yeah. uh, logging after logging into the application yeah. it will go uh, the user will uh, see all the uh, you know you can have all the shows listed there right but then yeah. let's say there yeah. are hundreds of shows More okay so i want to go particularly to one show the user should be able to search for that show right okay show okay, now, yeah. So basically, when I search for a show name, uh, and I let's say I start with letter, so it should recommend. There's a like a recommended uh, list, right, which comes similar to what we do with Google, right? As soon as you type something, it will show yeah. everything that starts. Okay, so it should be for venue, right? Yeah, for venue or for a show, okay. searching, right? So I, as a user, I can search for a venue. I can search for a show. Yeah. And in eleventh page, it's written API for interaction with venues and shows. Uh, crude on venue, crude so on shows. Uh, so what did it, it exactly? I I don't know what is crude. Uh, see, so you will get to know this when we work. I mean, when we you know uh, uh, teach you APIs. Okay. Uh, and so the thing we, is, uh, everything that we are trying to do with the venue management, right? In if you go to uh, okay, let me share this so yeah. that others can also see. But these are the app config names coming uh, in this uh, app code. Okay, so I'm not uh, uh, slide showing it, just the small screen. So if you have the show management here and venue management here. What can be what can be done in venue management and show management? You can create a new show, new create a new venue. Okay, edit a new show, uh, edit a show or edit a venue. Delete and obviously you can view all the shows. So yes. these are CRUD operations. So now okay. Now these CRUD operations can be done with or without APIs. Okay. okay. First, we will uh, teach you how so to see or how to create these or have these all the CRUD operations without APIs and do the same thing with APIs or have a, a restful APIs as we call it. Okay. So to whether to do this functionality with APIs or without APIs is something you can decide on. Okay, but these functionalities have to be there because okay. they are core. Okay, now if you do that with APIs, they will also be a yes. core functionality yes. and also come under a recommended which you have done. Getting? Okay, yeah. So, and uh, in optional, in less 12th page, it's certain predict popularity of a show venue based on previous trend. So, uh, we can take uh, ratings over here. Anything, anything. See, any parameter you can select first. Okay, based on that, you can plot and do yeah. some extrapolation. Doesn't have to be a very good AI model. Huh? Doesn't have to be that much uh, in depth. Okay, it can be a simple logic which can uh, give you the popularity of the show. Okay. Okay, for example, let's say first day there were 100 viewers, then 50 viewers, then 30 viewers. So you can predict that the viewers each day for this show is reducing. So on the 12th day, maybe there will be five or six viewers only, something like that. 
Okay. Oh. Absolutely and rough to, figure. It doesn't have to be very accurate. Okay. Hmm. And uh, we have to make two to three minute videos. So our hmm. video should be oh. on, right? Yeah. Uh, your video should be yeah. on and your While screen should be shared. Yes. Your okay. screen should be definitely shared because that is how you are showing us, right? Hmm. Yeah, once I watch two more, then I will tell you. Then you can tell okay. what it will be on. Uh, 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 Amal? Hi. Am yes. I audible? Yes, you're audible. So I understand that MAD1 project will be, uh, be a continuation towards MAD2 project. Uh, the vice versa, I mean the other way around. The MAD2 project will be in continu continuation of MAD1. Yeah, so in that case, so, uh, how can we plan better so that we don't have to refactor the entire project when we move to MAD2? Uh, so that is uh, uh, something that the course by itself take care, right? What happens is in the MAD1 project, as we said, you don't have to worry about the front end much, work on back end and application logic. Mm -hmm. Okay. MAT 2, you will have to mostly work on front end. Okay. Okay. So the logic for most part remains same. There will be only additional things, not replacement. So am I be correct to say that uh, we should optimize back end in the MAD 1 and then we should move towards front end in MAD 2? Yeah, that would be a good idea. Okay. Thank you. Yes, Neeraj. I have one question. Yes. That, that question is related to uh, booking. Booking? Sir, in a, yeah, in a ticket store, that's we also store timing for each show. And so if a uh, time, time, timeline for so, how can we show that timeline? timeline? Timeline for show meaning all the shows in one row coming after you scroll down and see all the shows, something like that? No, I think in a ticket it's so different that we must be show timeline for each show. What each do you mean venue, by timeline? Each venue has timelines for... Okay, timings uh, of the show, is it? Yeah, one minute. Sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, are you speaking? In, yes, sir. In hmm. books, so tickets, it's uh, core books, so tickets. You see, first line. So that's so available for a given time frame. Sorry, no timeline, time frame. The user. Uh -huh, uh -huh, yeah. So what is that mean? Give me a minute. Which slide it is? Slide number 10. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Show the shows available for a given time frame to the users. Okay, so I mean, see, this is, uh, uh, I mean, this is a core requirement, but you can manipulate it some somewhat. What does this mean is if you say, okay, I want to watch a show at, uh, I want to see available shows at 10 a.m. Okay, so it will give you a list of all the shows that are there starting at 10 a.m. Okay, because you have provided a time and it will show you or it will give you a list of all the shows that are available in that particular time frame, let's say 10 to 12 or something like that. Okay, but uh, I mean, you can you can have a different version of this, something like that. Uh, I want to watch shows on Friday. What are the available shows? Something like that. Okay, this this can be manipulated. The the whole idea is to be able to see the shows and to be able to book them. That should be the basic idea. Okay, now how do you show to the users is uh, depends on how much code you can put in and depends on how. Yeah, uh, I mean, how in interactive you want to make the user experience. Okay, sir. And sir, okay. I have one question also yes. because I face some error. So you provide instructor because yeah, yeah, surely. Google... So as as I said, see, if you are facing some issue, you can refer to videos that are there in the theory part 
one thing. Secondly, you can post yeah. your specific issue on Discourse. Okay, uh, Discourse, Discourse for uh, project. Okay, because um, in my dashboard, it's not open project link, project. Uh, no, no, so actually portal oh. is currently down. So it will be available oh. in a day or two. So you can then visit. Okay, so when you go to Discord, oh. you will see a lot of doubts coming, a lot of queries coming regarding certain number of doubts. So you take Discord as a Google for your project, okay, or your queries. You put, I mean, you can just go open Discord, put in your query and see that there are similar queries already addressed. Okay, now yeah. when you move ahead with the project, there will be similar qu queries related to project also, same time, right? Okay. Apart from that, we are, as I said, we'll be planning to have live sessions every alternate month. And also you can ask your doubts, technical doubts in the theory live sessions, right? Theory live session meaning the live sessions that we have for theory course, organized, uh, yeah. not organized, already, uh, 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 what we say, already, set live sessions right so we have live sessions for the course right two per week so you can join in and ask your doubts related to project there also actually i am my student my term student so now i am i think not a part of course uh, your may 22 AP. student is what you're saying yeah okay so, so I, I guess you are aware I, of uh, I guess you are aware of things that we go through, right? You are aware of how the doubts are cleared. Yeah, I am aware of doubts, but I am not aware that I am part of uh, that uh, session. I am I will able to attend course live session somehow because I think I am able to be attend a project live session. Okay, you are saying that you are not you will not be able to attend course live sessions, but you will be attending uh project live sessions is that is that so? yeah because a link will be not send me or uh, i am may student okay okay got it got it yeah so you can you can uh, uh yeah attend uh, live sessions of project okay and uh definitely discourse so your your best partner would be discourse in this case Okay. Right, but, but so see, have, you will not be able to attend live sessions, but you might be having access to the uh, access to the YouTube playlist, right? All the live sessions are already there. You won't be able to ask doubts, but most of your doubts will clear will be cleared through live sessions. Already Since there. I am, do I am doing that same thing. I am watching a YouTube video, and I am capable to do complete my but one two errors that strikes me and I don't find a own so, video. See, for that thing. you have discourse because though on discourse you can ask very specific errors, right? And then you we can also have a follow through, meaning uh, we you put a query, we try to resolve it, it does not resolve, you again put what happens, and then again, so this dialogue can happen on discourse. Can uh, you not provide an email ID for inspector? A direct asking question direct email id we will provide but not at this point okay we'll yeah. we'll provide in let's say in one or two weeks okay okay and uh, i think the last submission date is march in march yes okay. yeah, so we won't delay that long we'll provide email don't worry and sir one question i also ask that's image point of view we uh mandatory for uh, uploading image for every venue or so no 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 because i saw only the uh, you can only show when your name and that venue. should be sufficient okay and for uh, that is same for so yes yes that is same for show for show what image would you certainly put no so there is a chance you can have a good image there is a chance you don't have a good image at all so that is okay that means every show have image not at venue only venue have image in venue multiple house multiple so yeah, but it, so that uh, yeah no that is that is up to you don't worry okay thank you uh, and so also I related to password when we save password, we save in encrypt mode or direct because now I'm saying direct, like a user Dark login again. and Dark again. Oh. Uh, yes, Samit. Yeah, I have just <clears throat> one query. I have taken both in this term that is theory and project. Yes. Uh, what happened uh, if I fail in theory and pass in project? Shall I repeat the project once again in next term? 
Yeah. If you are failing in theory, there is no chance you will pass in project. Practically, no, it's not suppose, possible. Yeah. Suppose uh, huh. may this happen, then okay. what is this thing? Then you will have to repeat the theory repeat? course. You will pass the project course. No issues. No. Shall I repeat the project course once no, no, again you, or you project? Won't. No, no. You don't have to. You have already passed the project course. You don't have to. Oh. Yeah. So I mean, these two are different courses for a reason. Okay. Okay. Okay, Ajay. Uh, sir, uh, I'm completely new to this project, sir. So I have to start it from scratch. Uh, so hmm. do you, could you please guide me from where to where should I start, sir? Yeah. So you have to to start the project. You will have to uh, uh, strictly follow the course. Okay, live sessions and all. So what happens? Live sessions we try to cover from very first topic till the time you can completely create the application. So if you strictly follow the live sessions and the theory content, you can uh, and see lab assignments is a very good, um, uh, very good tool to actually work with uh, uh, practical parts so that you get acquainted with the project uh, technicalities. All right. So if you follow the theory course um, uh, with uh, good uh, determination, determination meaning good interest, good commitment to the course, then definitely project would be not, won't be that uh, difficult. And then obviously we, uh, as in, as as a team of instructors, we are there to clear your specific doubts in live sessions or on discourse. Uh, sir, but uh, I'm a student who completed this uh, Mad One theory in September term, sir. So I'm just uh, enrolled for project alone in this term, sir. Yeah. So, so we that's what. So for that we'll be having. Uh, uh, I mean, the, as I said to even to Neeraj, right? Uh, discourse yes, will be a better place for you to, uh, uh, you know, get your queries resolved. Sir, course I mean, most course? of them, most of the discourse. Discourse, okay, discourse. sir. Okay. Yeah, not course. Discourse. It will be available in a couple of days when portal is also open. Thank you, sir. Okay, Archit. Yeah, uh, sir. I did um, doubt regarding um, um, should the, uh, should we implement a payment gateway as well, or should we consider the transaction successful by just booking a booking the tickets? That should be sufficient. Okay, so we should not implement anything like you have to pay this or something like that. No, no. I mean, you can see there is a component of pricing, so you can book, show, total, everything, pay, and everything. Everything can be dummy. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Uh, 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 Mandala Venkata. Hello, uh, can yeah. you Hi. can you hear me? Yes, yes, I can. Yeah, uh, just a very quick one. Uh, you know, I have taken both uh, the theory as well as project now. Yes. And my understanding is, unless we reach you know uh, sixth or seventh week of the course, mm -hmm. uh, I, I probably I may not have a good grasp on the concepts. So it would be difficult for me to start uh, working on the project as well. So my question now is. I will be left with remaining maybe five weeks or so. And again, the exam pressure will be there. So will we be able to complete the project by 31st of March? No, no. So actually, uh, let me clear that that is not the case, right? So what, what happens is this project has everything, right? It has a front end part, it has database connection, and it has a back end part. Okay. Mm -hmm. First few weeks deal with the front end part. Okay. The HTML, the technologies like HTML, CSS. So this will help you to create the structure of your project. Okay. Mm -hmm. As we move ahead with uh, weeks four and five, this will uh, this is the place where you will work with the backend and add logic to your application. Okay. Mm -hmm. Once you are done with six weeks, you will you will be quite quite comfortable with you know working both uh, uh, working with both of these in sync, the front end and back end. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is where you can uh, uh, so most of the things will be covered. Uh, uh, Conceptually, the base, the core requirement that is there, uh, this will be covered by week five and week six itself. Okay. So it's okay. not that you have to wait till then and then start. You can parallelly start. Okay. okay. And as you do the lab assignments, uh, you will get the idea of how to, you know, work with both at the same time. Okay. okay. So I wouldn't say that you can directly start off with project from the very first week, but week three and week four should be a good time to start. Okay. Okay. Right, right, right. Yeah, so that's what is my worry. And and the other thing is, uh, you know, there will be these quizzes also. And so there will be 
some time to prepare for quizzes. Uh, is there any chance that you know uh, the the deadline will be extended at least by mid of April? At this point, I cannot comment on that. I mean, okay. uh, yeah. So based on the submissions, how difficult uh, this I mean the students are facing. Uh, is this number very large who are facing issues? All these factors affect to extension okay. of deadline, right? So cannot comment on this at this point. Right, right. And if we are stuck, I think, what do we do? See, when we work on this project, sometimes uh, you really get stuck on very minor programming issues. So yeah. what kind of help will be available? Uh, yeah, so you have registered for the course, right? This term? Yes, I have. Uh -huh. So uh, what you can do is you can attend uh, first thing first and foremost uh, be uh, acquainted with the theory uh, content that uh, gets released every week, right? Okay. So the week's content for that particular week, uh, a component of theory and a component of practical part will be released. Okay. Mm -hmm. Watching mm -hmm. them thorough would be a, a better way to start with. Okay. To accompany that, we have sessions, live sessions, which will uh, some of those will be uh, will clear your specific doubts, and some of those are practical based. Okay. Okay. So that will cover uh, one part of the one practical aspect of the course. Okay. Okay. So that is that is there. So you and then there is this, we can have. I mean, we also have live sessions such as this, right? So you can just unmute and ask your specific doubt. Okay. All right. Apart from that, there is there are things like discourse, which can be a very good platform to ask your queries because they are not only us, but also other peers who are who have already worked with project or who are working with project are there. So that and they have definitely you know face same queries which you may have, you which you may right. So uh, they can clear your doubts, and we are definitely there on the discourse. Okay. Okay, this, this course is a place where you can just, uh, you know, open up and ask your query. You don't have to wait for any live session or someone to be there. Okay. And what development tools are we expected to use for this project? Yeah, so, uh, I mean, uh, development tools meaning, see, uh, all the front-end part that is uh, uh, front-end technology will involve uh, uh, HTML and CSS. Yeah. Okay. Bootstrap, if you want to go more into designing. Okay. All right. Then uh, we will have templatings uh, with the help of Jinja, uh, a library called as Jinja. Okay. okay? And uh, the the major uh, major application part will be done by Flask and its extensions. Okay. So mostly it will be Python. Mostly it meaning, will be Python. Okay. Yeah. So we will have to simply import Flask and then. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Right. So Flask will be. Uh, I mean, are we are we going to be taught the concepts yes, of Flask? Yes. 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 Okay. Quite in detail. Okay. And database, what database can we use? Database, we can, uh, I mean, database will be working with SQLite only. Okay. SQLite, okay. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right. Yes, Himanshu. Yeah, hi. Am I audible? Yes. Yeah, actually, I just want to actually, I'm completely new to the course and I'm a direct diploma student. So I'm not getting any mail of live session. So I just want to know a little bit of project. Like, is the project same for everyone? If yes, yeah, then yeah. what? Yeah. Yes, the so project is same for everyone. I mean, this is a publicly uh, given problem problem statement, right? So everyone will be working on the same project, same technologies. Uh, core requirements are, I mean, everything is same. The, uh, the only difference is how you implement it. What is your application logic for the thing? Right. Could you please tell me a um, little bit about project, like what kind of project it is? Like? I mean, I've gone through the complete problem statement in the uh, start uh, in the you know uh, starting part of this uh, session. Okay, so is there? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, you joined a bit late or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I okay, joined okay. Late. All right. So you can just watch this session from the beginning, and it should be clear. Okay. Thank you. Okay, I've, I mean, I've gone through the complete problem statement, what are the core requirements, what do we expect, everything. So you can just go through these and uh, uh, it will be available. So uh, a live session. Uh, it will going to be uploaded on YouTube, right? Correct. So I'll also share the link with you just now. Okay. Where it is being live streamed. And could you please help me with like, I'm not getting any live session links or anything. So... Uh, don't worry about that. The calendar. Uh, will be uh, is still not ready. I mean, it's still not uh, live with you all. It will be shared. And do I need I... to do anything like uh, for calendar or something? You're registered as a student, right? Yeah. 
Direct so diploma. Have, yeah, yeah. So you don't have to do anything. It will be in your calendar, updated. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay. Next, uh, Subir. Okay, Subir left out. Okay, Subir left. Is there anything no, on chat? Sir, I'm, I'm audible. I yeah, you're know. audible. You are audible. Yeah. Okay. Hi. Uh, sir, I just wanted to ask whether these lab assignments are different from uh, projects, right? Yes. Okay, and and uh, there is no requirement to submit the project means you can submit at the end of once you are done with it before yeah. the March date, any time during yes. that. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. And so this data that we will be using in the project, uh, this should be means we should make our own data or can we? Yeah, you have to make your own data. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Sir. Okay. Okay, so I have uh, yes, Neeraj, you're back. Yeah, sir. I my question related to uh, storing password. It can we store a simple password? Yes, you can. Uh, without encrypting them. Yes, yes, you can. No issues. And no security issue uh, is concerning that project. Only ideas implemented. Yes, yes. The core features have to be implemented. Uh, because we just, see the thing is we want to use minimal uh, things that can be learned from the course and can be applied right so if you go into lot of intricacies of security testing uh, uh, aesthetics and everything maybe the application logic which needs to come out as a result of this course would not come out right so that is something we don't want we want to focus on what you learn in back end rather than focusing on everything that is associated with developing an application Okay, and one question related to creating HTML page. Can we allow to create HTML page for every uh, controller? Because if we uh, like concentrate, then it's maybe difficult. No, oh, so I mean, there is no bound on number of HTML pages. Because I asking this question because uh, it's a fact on number on uh, grading. It is not uh, a fact on. No, no, it should not affect because as we, as I said, there is no minimum number. I mean, sorry, there is no minimum number of HTML pages required or something like that, right? There is no number bound on HTML pages. It depends on what interfaces and how many views you want to give to the application. Yeah, but you cannot just, you know, create simple HTML pages and give it as a project submission. It has to have a backend. Yeah, that's it. That's I know. That is required for a project, but I want to know that it effective use of pages like uh, uh, use more Jinja templates on. Oh, so it depends on what data you are taking from database and showing on the view, right? That's what I said. Every HTML page has to be uh, 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 what we say partially dynamic. Why partially? Because some things will not change and some things will depend on what data is coming from database. It has to be partially dynamic. Okay. And uh, uh, for uh, APIs, uh, API is mandatory for this uh, project. Right? It because is not mandatory. It is a recommended feature. Having one is a really good thing. But if at, at some point, if you feel that uh, you are not uh, really conf confident with APIs, you can do with normal controllers also. It is a recommended feature, uh, graded, but it is uh, it is not something that uh, governs you passing or governs your passing or failing the course. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir, I have <coughs> one more doubt. Yeah, just give me a yeah. minute. I'll come, come to you, right? Just a couple of people, right? Yeah, Sisrik. So Shurik is there? Hello. Yes. Yeah. Um. I just wanted to ask that uh, for the admin and user login, will we need to create like separate pages, or can it be like on the same page with a prompt like asking whether are you an admin or a user page? Uh, no. So a uh, prompt meaning. If, if what if I say yes, I'm an admin, but I'm not a, a registered as admin and backend. What should happen? 
Yeah, but the admin will have the admin login. No? Even if a user clicks admin without the login, they won't be able to log in. Yeah. Yeah, that's what. So if you're taking care of these things, it should be okay. Okay. So else there should be like a separate uh, admin thing apart hmm. from the user. Yeah. Yes. See, because since the functionality of both uh, uh, capabilities of both admin and user are different, it is better to have different dashboards when somebody logs in. Right. Mm -hmm. So if an admin is logging in, I mean, we would not want a user to log in and to be able to edit the venue. Right. That should not yeah. be that should not happen. So for that thing, we are having dif different logging login pages only makes it simpler that mm -hmm. only admin will open this page and log in. OK, so it's better to keep it separate. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it is simpler to keep it separate. OK. OK. And uh, do we need to enforce like uh the password requirements like capital letters, uh, numbers, special characters. That comes so, under validation, which is uh, an optional, uh, which is a recommended requirement. Okay, it is absolutely not required. It is not the core requirement, but mm -hmm. doing something like that is recommended. I mean, uh, give me a minute. Okay. okay. And for yeah. the uh, data sets, like for the shows and venues and all, will we will we be provided with like? what data to put or we can put whatever we want in the database. So we have given a rough idea on what needs to be there. Apart from that, you can add your own. So we can put uh, our own like venue show names and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Data can be dummy. It can okay. be dummy. Absolutely created by you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Uh, uh, Prashant. Yes, sir. Hello. Yeah. Am I, am I audible? Yes. Uh, good evening, sir. Sir, uh, I want to ask that uh, I have uh, taken uh, the Mad One uh, project, uh, Mad One uh, the theory and the project uh, simultaneously, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm uh, I'm not very uh, I have not very hands on experience in web development and uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, web development uh, programming languages that like HTML and uh, JavaScript. Okay. Uh, but you have said earlier that I, we need to start working on the project from uh, third uh, from third to uh, third or fourth week. So, I mean, see, that is not a, something which I said mandatorily. I mean, your project should be started by third week. That is not what I'm saying. I'm saying it is a right time because you have a idea of front end, right? So you can start making the front end of application. The look of application can be created. Okay. So okay. Logic can be added later. All right. Uh, so that's mean. Uh, and uh, what amount of uh, week required to understand all the things? If uh, if uh, I I need all the twelve weeks, then how can I uh, submit? Uh, if let's uh, the uh, let's say if the project uh, uh, last date is extended to the end of the twelfth week, then I have to I need to uh, you know. Uh, no, so see, in order to complete the core requirements, you will only need week five. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. That's uh, really uh, helpful. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, Amit. Yes, Amit. Yeah. Mm, sir, what I want to ask you, uh, what I understood, uh, this project is a basic preliminary requirement for passing. Then you can just keep on adding features for further betterment. Sir, hmm. is it possible, sir? First, I met all the preliminary requirements. Hmm. Then I can submit. And on that particular time, can you check and say, ki, okay, this is okay. And I, I just next keep on building the features. Is it possible? No. So what happens is once you make the submission, we will be evaluating only your submitted project, okay, in whatever state it is. Oh, intermittent submission is not possible. No, it's not like that. That means in a lifetime, I can submit only once. Yes. What you can do is you can post on Discord that, okay, I've completed this part and uh, I've completed this part. Oh, I want to add this thing. How can I proceed? Something like that can be done. But uh, submissions, submission is, is to be made only once. And okay. unless I submit that, you are not able to see that. No. Oh. Then uh, Salai means whatever I uh, developed, I just copy and paste in the discourse. 
then everyone copy. everyone will copy yours from the discourse no then how can i give it i mean will you share some email id so that i can post there uh, so why why do you need this email id for somebody to look at your project have a look at your project no in the course instructor i can submit there mm -hmm. i have completed this much can you please check yeah yeah so i mean what do you want to know from that part that this is uh, uh, no. i mean what what insights do you want from this how do i how do i know that my project is uh, working fine or not so see that is something you can working fine meaning all the requirements are there or not that is what you are saying Now, am i myself can check the all the requirement is there or not yeah you can check no so you are developing the project you can keep it running i mean you can run it every time a new thing is added right from a very basic basic html page till the time you have complete backend ready you can keep running and see if it is working if it is working right so in general we do not give any feedback that okay your sub project has been submitted and all the features are working you will come to know i mean you will have to demonstrate that on the viva day and we'll decide whether something is there or not okay got it sir clear okay all right okay uh parth yeah so uh I took a look at the syllabus a few days ago, mm -hmm. and uh, you mentioned some minutes ago that we are going to use SQLite, but weren't you using Post uh, GRE for the? That was for DBMS. No, App Dev one we are we were we are uh, we have been working with SQLite only. Okay, so um, what will be the differences between both? Would uh, it be easy because DBMS is core requires it, right? Yeah, so DBMS is core requisite in order for you to understand the database, how it works, SQL in general. Okay, what is schema? How do we? How do you uh, create these tables? Right. Yeah. For that, you need database because see, uh, in general, you work you are working with application, working with data, so you need to have an understanding of database. All right, and we do not expect you to know SQL. Right, we will be teaching. Uh, that part of SQLite, which is absolutely required for the project. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Mandala Venkata. Uh, yes. Yes. Thank you. Just I had one more doubt. Um, mm -hmm. uh, you know, this is regarding the user management. So okay. uh, the way I was just thinking, maybe just to get some idea from you. See, uh, maybe can we do like this that we create a super user from the back end, and uh, The, 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 then you know this super user when he uh, logs in he can create users uh, and then assign roles should we do that way or should we actually provide a sign up page you know where but the sign up page is only meant for um, the normal users uh, not for yeah, the I mean, back see this the uh, i mean what we want you to create is the second one first one is i mean see you're creating a super user and uh, uh, asking that particular user to create another user okay yeah. by any chance if not i am not the user that is created i won't be able to use the application absolutely yeah so that is not what we want right see it is like somebody creating the show and other one booking it okay right so for that uh, every it should be open to everybody it's that i need to have some additional uh, things to be able to sign up as an admin or you can completely remove that part and have Yes, pre exactly. Installed admin, I mean yes. pre-added admin, which cannot mm -hmm. be changed, just yes. like owners of an of a, of a business Absolutely. something like Absolutely. that. Absolutely. And was, uh, yeah. yeah, I was thinking so exactly the same way because you know normal users, that means those who are booking the show, for them there will be sign up, you know, on his page, mm -hmm. so he can sign up. So he's creating his own user account, and then he can log in any time and see the shows and book them. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. the whole idea. I mean, normal okay. user. See, if you see the core requirement of user, what can yeah. a user do? He can see or search for shows or venues and book shows. Book that's yes. all. Yeah, I think in your guidelines also it is mentioned clearly. And uh, uh, and and uh, yeah, that is one part. Secondly, you know, for somebody to become a back office user, because there could be multiple back office users, mm -hmm. just to make sure that there are there is enough number of users to carry out back office operation. So mm -hmm. in that case. 
can we have a super user who can create now back office users so suppose i am the super user which is hard coded or not hard coded it will be there in the database created from the back end itself it's and then just that the what you mean to say is there is one user from the admin who is yeah. who is uh, i mean who can change the role of normal user to another admin no not that not that okay. he can create users say for example today one back office officer is there he is able to manage the back office by back office what i mean is creating the shows creating the um, uh, yeah creating the shows so and other things that you have mentioned in your guideline those that are mm. supposed to back office activities so what okay. i'm saying is i'm the super user i log in i create a user so now uh, yeah yeah i mean see what you can do is when you are log in logged in as an admin Ah. okay ah. uh give a list of users to the admin and have an option of make an admin or assign as admin right. and that particular user will start acting as an admin and have all the access which admin had initially absolutely absolutely that's yes, what i can asking. do something like that no yeah yeah okay so right now yeah, once i start working on it maybe some yeah yeah that's what uh, yeah. yeah some more doubts might be there thank you so much thank yeah you. later on you will find that having one admin is easier <laughs> <laughs> yeah one user would be one just creating one admin would be much easier yes yeah yeah but that is just a part of you know how much code you can add later on just before submission and then see fine yeah like the way we are you know for example um asp.net the way we are developing applications here mm -hmm. we have a full fledged uh, back office uh, functionality where roles are managed so mm -hmm. there i think the super admin can assign roles and so on so forth but yes yeah, yeah. On, the, on the front end yeah, so this is this is one of the concerns or one of the things that we'll see in uh, security part of this course mm -hmm. okay so there is something called as role based access control mm -hmm. okay you can have this feature and then uh, based on i mean this uh, application by itself is uh, mandating role based right mm -hmm. because there is one ad component of admin and there is one another component of normal user mm -hmm. okay now having uh, an admin having the right to assign another admin is something you can add yeah but i'm i'm just wondering you know for us to, there's all these things are there but where is the line to be drawn because uh, what is the minimum that we should do to get a good grade see this way i think we can make it you, more and more see, you have to first yeah so then in that case you'll have to uh, i mean uh, have a very good understanding of core features and recommended features okay okay everything that is extra everything that you do after core and recommended comes under optional which is by itself optional and uh, it will you know definitely add to your project or your submission when you show it on during the viva okay okay but if you want to draw a line have core and recommended features first set up in your application then go for optionals okay okay i think that really yeah yeah understood yes yeah all right because core and recommended features both are graded so this will get you the you know get this will allow you to score maximum everything that you do will only recommend you for a good project okay okay yeah. so if i finish core and recommended will i get a good grade good grade meaning at least that eight. will definitely guarantee that will make you eligible to get a good grade then everything depends on your viva yes yes that obviously yeah, yeah. It, at least from the work point of view yeah viva yes, yes, of course depends on how yeah. i am able to answer questions yeah, yeah. but from the work if you, point if you merely want to pass the course do the core leave everything aside okay if you want to get good grades do the core and graded okay and uh, yeah and yeah sorry yes core and recommended and then everything you do after that design and everything comes under optional okay thank you okay uh yes sanjeev sanjeev you there yes sir so am i audible uh it's on the uh, your voice is on a lower side can you can you increase your volume yes sir sorry sir my voice is in this side um, mm, yeah i can hear you but i can hardly make out what you're saying man um, mm. if your doubt is very specific can you post it on chat um, Okay. Okay. Uh, yes, yeah, Ashrik. Hello. Yes. Yeah. 
see in the frameworks to be used they have given like flask sqlite and all that we mm -hmm. have to use those only or we can use like alternatives no no you you have to go with uh, the one given okay so these are okay, like i mean you'll have to yeah these are the core uh, uh, or these are the mandatory frameworks that you have to work with okay okay so we have to use only the ones mentioned in the document yes yes, yes. Okay, okay this will this will ensure everyone you know uh, that everyone is on the same scale yeah okay, okay. okay. we are removing out uh, the ability of a micro uh, sorry ability of a framework from hmm. the uh, from the what we can say calculation or evaluation Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, Samir. Uh, good evening, sir. Sir, uh, as uh, DBMS is a pre a core requisite for this course, uh, until which week uh, sh should we study in DBMS to start implementing the back end of this project? Uh, a very basic understanding of DBMS is required. That is all, that is only because you uh, you will be working with models and stuff, right? But what is required for the course will be also taught in the course. Okay, then you can later relate it with uh, what was, uh, uh, I mean, having a knowledge of DBMS will only help you to understand what, what is taught in the this course better. Uh, so, uh, so can we implement the complete Mad1 project uh, if we finish week three or week four? Uh, what about backend? No, uh, excluding back. I mean, like including backend and everything. Uh, if we know everything in week three and four in Mad one, can we uh, complete the project? Is it possible? I mean, yeah, yeah, with yeah, the definitely. knowledge. If you are okay with. Uh, I mean, if you are okay with the front end database and back end, there's nothing stopping you to do the core functionalities at least. Okay, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Mayank. Yes, sir. sir. Actually, sir, I in September term I took the Mad One course for the first time, but mm -hmm. then I dropped it. Uh, so now in January term, then I again opted the Mad for Mad One course. So till when will I be able to submit the project? Uh, because the new, the new policy states that you have to do in this course in this term or till the next term. Yeah. So uh, you have not passed the course, right? After one. No, sir. I have opted for this. So this you have dropped, time. right? You you have not failed the course, is it? Yes, sir. I have dropped in September. Okay. Yeah, then this term and the next term. Uh, sir, because sir, I am getting so many mails uh, uh, to submit the app dev one project. So uh, maybe I am. Uh, that was because you had registered, right? Already registered, but uh, drop, sir. But I have dropped the course in September. Yeah. No, that's okay. I mean, you you have re-registered right here. I mean, in the Jan term, right? Yes, sir. I've re-registered. Yeah. Then you can finish your project this term and the next term. Okay. And sir, and sir, sir, when uh, we opted for the Mad One pro uh, course, then we will automatically opt for the Mad One project, right? Yes. We don't have, we don't have to pay for extra for Mad One project. No, you have to pay, but later your registration will be done, but payment has to be done later. Oh, okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, yeah, so I'll take care of chat. I just joined. So I, yeah, this uh, the recording, as well as uh, I mean, this video will be uh, available on YouTube later. Okay, so you can watch it there. Uh, I've completed my advent theory in May 22 term, but I've, I haven't completed the project. Okay, I have registered this term. How shall I proceed, sir? Lab assignments, uh, I mean, you can do them, but uh, how will you ensure that you score? complete marks in lab assignments, right? So um, one way to do that would be to go go again with the live sessions, okay, recorded ones, not because I, I'm, I'm not sure if you can join, but the recorded ones you can watch again, okay? And then start on front end first, then, data, uh, then back end, a bit of back end, and then connect with the database, okay? And- Sir, uh, sir excuse me, sir. Hmm. Sir, is the sir, project is available on the dashboard or, or, or in, in portal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, once the portal uh, starts up again, it will be available. Sir, actually, I'm able to log in from the old portal. And ah, I but old not portal will anything. not have this. Old portal will not have this, right? Oh, so that's why I'm asking. Is it available no, no, or no, not? No, no, uh, no. A new, I mean, you will get a proper link for the portal, which will be available in a couple of days. Oh, okay, sir. Thank you.
Yeah. Uh, so web development is completely new domain for me. Okay. Yeah. So see, uh, one suggestion, one absolute suggestion is watch all the live sessions. I mean, attend all live sessions. So, so as to clear your individual doubts. Okay. Uh, uh, attend all the, I mean, watch all the videos. Okay. Try to finish all lab assignments and discourse is already there. So all these things will together help you, uh, you know, uh, help you in a very good sense to work with project and also the theory course. Right. This was one of one of the questions in chat. So I answered that. Do we need separate registration form for admin? Yeah, it depends on you. I mean, uh, it is easy to create two forms for two. I mean, admin one form for admin and one form for a user. But uh, if you can segregate out based on the credentials, uh, it would be good. You can do that also. It will be provided. I mean, there is one doubt that Mad1 is a new course of mine. This course access is not provided. It will be provided. Don't worry. Yeah, payment and all needs does not need. I mean, is not required. Okay, pay, doing interface for payment and all for this project. Uh, uh, just you can show based on the prices and the number of tickets booked. This is your total. By you can add dummy GST and all show grand total. That is something you can do. Okay. Yes, meeting recording will be available later. Yeah, it will be available on uh, YouTube and now it is being live streamed. So I guess the same thing will be available. I'm sharing the link again. Uh, anu, if you have not uh, made any submission, okay, then you can work on this. You will be reg registered for this terms project. So you can work on this problem statement, okay, January problem statement. Okay, so are we done now? I think uh, I've answered to most of the queries, but yeah, queries will keep coming. So you can uh, uh, ping us on discourse and we are planning to have more of these live sessions project based and we'll let you know when and as and when they happen. Okay. Uh, so at this point, if there are no more issues and no more doubts, uh, we'll call it a day, right? Yeah. Thank okay. you, sir. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Fine. Okay. See you in the theory courses also. Yes. Sir. Okay. Sir. Okay. I'll stop the live streaming and uh, recording. You can drop off. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for joining. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir.